Okay, let's talk about the instruments themselves. The first thing we're going to do is look at the hardware. Now, I'm sure a lot of you have seen the pictures. Some of you may never have seen one in person. So what I'm going to do is actually take the camera downstairs. I'm in the UK office of Viacrom. We have labs downstairs with a whole bunch of instruments. And we're going to walk you through the various elements uh, of the instruments themselves. You've got the small box, which is the auto sampler. You've got the big box which is where all the magic happens and obviously the PC. I'm uh, going to show you the main key components uh, and show you our labs. That's Dr David Thomas. He is our chief chemistry engineer at Biochrom. He's going to show us around the instrument. Starting with that auto sampler there. Now that white bit he's taking off is the temperature control uh, case. The samples go into this grid here and they move in and out on a track. That's an 84 sample uh, tray there. And like I said, that auto sampler uh, is, can be cooled or can be not cooled. So that is part of the temperature control system he's putting in there for this system as a physiological system. And moving over to the, la the large box, you can see that that door just opens straight up on a hinge. First of all, we're going to point out the pre-wash column. Now that helps any clear up any residual sort of rubbish in the samples that didn't get pulled out through the preparation process. The analytical column, that's where the amino acids get separated. And that one's actually in an oven, so it is temperature controlled. That large box on the top shelf there is the reaction coil. That's where the chemical ninhydrin binds to the amino acids to cause a color change, which we will then detect in that little box next to it, which is the detector. And you can see the light shining through there that the samples pass under. Now, obviously these samples and, and chemicals all need to be pumped around the system. So we do have some pumps in there. These are peristaltic pumps and HPLC pumps.